All right, guys, this is Doc M, and yeah, another episode of Minecraft Wednesday Wisdom, where I share some thoughts and ideas and little things I think about and come across and find and whatnot. And yeah, um, recently everybody's making furnaces, right, in the latest Minecraft version 1.13. Point one, you know, kelp. Kelp is the thing. So I was thinking, eh, there should be some other ways to make a cool furnace setup. And yeah, yes, indeed, here it is. This, uh, f yeah, fully self-sustaining, um, infinite furnace array. You could call it. It's infinite. It will infinitely resupply, and I have some stuff in there smelting. As you can see, we're using carpet here as a material for the smelting, and yeah, easily keeps up. As you see, that always stays full, right? And yeah, can smelt all kinds of stuff with that. You know, these furnaces are especially interesting now as um, you can store XP in them, right? So um, what we can do is have a setup like this and then hook up chicken, um, you know, cookers or chicken farms to or similar animal farms to these uh, furnaces and let it constantly cook, you know, use chicken. Well, uh, it's probably the easiest and then eventually you, you come to the thing and then you have like tons and tons of XP stored in there. And as you don't have to refuel it, it automatically produces its fuel and regulates itself. Uh, it's also not constantly running. So, right, let's say we would be done with the smelting here. We're done with our smelt job. That means there's no more new demand for carpet. So now um, the furnace minecart here, or the hopper minecart, would go around for a little bit until everything is filled up. Here we're putting one in every time, you know. So let's help help it out a little bit. Let's fill that up, and so on. So you know the the system keeps on resetting and refilling while you're done with your smelting. So let's speed that up here a little bit put some in there. So now in the next phase, of course, um, you know, the hopper minecart on top would fill up and so on. And eventually this would get full enough for it to switch off. So you can see it's, it's uh, detecting here. So when this chest gets full, the system will automatically switch off and we are done. So now it stays off pretty much and that's it. And only when there's new demand for carpet, um, the system will pick it up. Right now, this minecart is filling up, you know, getting more and more carpet stored inside. It draws it from this hopper here. It always picks up four every time it comes by, so it's perfectly timed um, for four furnaces to keep them rolling all the time. So, yeah, there is still carpet duping in Minecraft 1.13.1 even. Um, plenty of people showed it. I remember seeing a video about a month ago um, by Ray. He showed something different design-wise, but it's always the same principle. So you have a slime block like that, right? And if you extend and retract, you get carpet duping. And yeah, we use that, of course, to uh, build a little setup like this. Up in here, we have a three-wide carpet duper, right? And um, yeah, we have minecarts pushed into the whole system, so all the carpets get sucked up as soon as it moves. As you can see right here, just moved. And then we have the hopper array below that picks up the produced carpet and yeah, stores it in the chest here. And at the chest we have a very simple check system. We just make sure it's on and off, so it's really, really cheap. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to quickly show you how to set that up. Um, should be a quick tutorial. You should be easily able to replicate that. Well, to make one of these setups actually quite easy. So you have a double chest, you know, this is your start point. And then um, you just point hoppers into that, four of them. And then two more on top pointing in. And then we have hoppers pointing downwards. So we get this nice grids, three tubes pretty much feeding in and then double that. So six tubes, six hoppers feeding into this double chest should be fast enough to keep up. Next thing we know, you know, right here will be our um, yeah, moving slime blocks and here will be the piston that uh, moves the whole thing. So now to make sure the carpet doesn't fly all over the place, right, we frame that whole thing in with a non-sticky block, for example, 
here the glazed terracotta stuff or um, obsidian, other furnaces, you know, uh, leaves, whatever doesn't stick with the slime blocks, it doesn't matter. So right now we need to get um, the minecarts in there and how I did it uh, to get them reliably in there was like this, so you know, frame around, so here is where we're gonna drop, so we're gonna put up s something like that and then here's the minecart track and um, yeah I wanna have them half blocked so take a fence gate or something put it on there you know and push that bad boy in and if you knock it out it should nicely align like that if you put the tracks right down there you will have some trouble with the minecarts gliding around so yeah do the same thing we deleted our track as smart as we were right here Bloop. Uh, so now they sit nicely next to each other see that right you want to have them nicely aligned and last but not least third minecart and boom we got them nicely in there sweet so now we don't want to mess with them like that and touch them too much uh, it's not bad they will realign now and yeah now we just want to push the piss the, the slime blocks in there so <laughs> don't jump in the hole like me like i just did like an idiot um yeah you only need one piston to do that you can remove this here for example and come in from the side just like that and then uh, take a redstone block and you push that whole shebang down right and then you knock that out again and now we have the minecarts nicely tucked in there and they will realign it doesn't matter it sucks that I touched it so it doesn't look that beautiful synchrone um, uh, so synchronized so here carpet on top right and that is already the duping setup done so now you can for example take glass or trapdoors how I did um, so let's take trapdoors actually so you can later you know if you want to dupe other colors um, of carpet you can still do that so just put some trapdoors here on top so stuff doesn't fall out all over the place technically you don't need all these trapdoors as long as you have some access of some sort right so yeah so that's the basic thing done and now we just need to set up the checking mechanism for that we need uh, some redstone magic let me gather some stuff well just come behind the setup where the piston is now right and we want to read from this chest here so here we're gonna set a, a little compare thing up. So what we need is a comparator and you wanna face that, can we get it in here? Yep, face that in this direction and compare mode, right? Another comparator next to it. Chest, so this is the contents we compare. And now it's important that you, whoop, we come here, we fill that up minus two and yeah you can use duped carpets for that and yeah next thing uh, we just need our piston in there and bring that all up so we put a block here piston there and then um, yeah we need to get an observer in there and uh, let me see where is a good place to get it from here probably have that facing in okay block that off again and now put an observer against it and there we go we already have the carpet duping and yeah we should start building up as you can see it's filling up rather quickly and yeah now as soon as the chest is full the system will automatically stop so let's help out with that a little bit boom full enough system stops right and yeah now it's only a matter of setting up um, your furnace uh, system I'm not gonna set that up because you can hook up all kinds of things different furnace arrays here you can look at it I mean it's as simple as it gets right two furnaces right next to each other and just have here is our storage chest of course and then have a hopper below and just have the uh, minecart going around only thing you need to uh, take care of make sure you make the turn just exactly like that two blocks out before the first furnace 
right? Otherwise, um, yeah, you might get some iffiness with the item distribution. You need uh, the minecart to yeah, nicely move about and exactly the way like I did it here, right? But yeah, that should be simple add-on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now you can only use that as a carpet duper as well. I mean, you know, you take some out and then the thing keeps running and yeah, produces new carpets. And that's pretty much it. How do the minecarts look in here? Yep, they realigned again nicely. And there we go, we filled the chest again. Beautiful. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I think pretty useful setup here. Small little quirky design. I'm definitely gonna uh, think about some uses for that. Um, you could, for example, make an AFK or a spawn XP battery, right? Um, if you divide that properly here with furnaces and make this a little bit bigger, you could do carpets constantly loaded in the spawn chunks and then make sure you get chicken um, there, you know, breeding. And then you can have that constantly running and store crazy amounts of XP on your server with a cell like that. It's just a, you know, long run project, but it runs constantly, so it should store a lot over time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.